And I'm Mallory. Back with your KTHS news. Ashton is out today, so we are here with your KTHS sports. Last Friday, volleyball extended their win streak 13-0 with a clean sweep over Klein Collins. The girls traveled to Klein Kane tonight for their last district game of the year before playoffs. Here's some information from the girls. I'm Jessica. I'm Tegan. And we were talking about volleyball, and we have a game tonight at 5.30 versus Klein Kane away. Be there to come support us. It's our last district game, and we're going to be undefeated district champs. Go Cougs! For the first time since 1990, your varsity football team has secured a playoff spot two years in a row with a 2017 win over Klein Forest that went into two overtimes. Here's Ashton's interview with Coach Handel and running back Christian Womack. 2017 is your final here in two overtimes. Coach Handel, how does it feel? Oh, unbelievable. Uh, you know, first, I just need to tip my cap to, to Coach Wilson and, and Klein Forest. They do a great job. They have a good football team. And uh, they just make, make things so hard on you offensively, and they just um, – they're just well coached, and we, we struggled offensively tonight. Our defense came up big, uh, over and over with big play after big play, and uh, you know we were fortunate to hold on at the, at the end. And, and just like each and every week, we talk about our kids battling adversity and, and hanging in there and, and trusting each other and loving each other. And uh, we just went, made one more play at the end and, and got the win. I mean, coach, that's playoff back-to-back -back years in a row. How does that feel? Oh, it, it's unbelievable. You know that that's. After the run last year to bounce back and be in the tournament again is really special. Um, it, it's, I'm excited for our kids, excited for our community, and you know, shoot, we, we still got two more games to play, and uh, you know, we're, we're not we're excited about being in the playoffs, but we still got some work to do. Yeah, so like you said, two more games left to play. You got Collins next week, who lost, who just dropped to, to Klein Kane, putting y'all at the first position. How does that feel? Well, we, we know what, what's ahead of us with Collins. They're, they're well coached, physical football team. Um, it's going to be a challenge, you know, we're, we're going to enjoy this one tonight, but we'll be back at it tomorrow and, uh, you know, the, the goal of each week is to continue to improve and we got a lot to improve on from tonight, for sure. Last week we talked a little bit about this game and how it could be a struggle. Obviously it was a little bit of a struggle, but y'all came out with the win. Looking forward to next week, what are some things that y'all can't fix? We came out flat tonight, yeah, after the big win against Memorial, we, uh, you know, Forrest hit us in the, in, punched us in the mouth early on, and we didn't really respond in that first half. We were flat, our energy wasn't good, or where it needed to be, and I thought our kids' energy level was much better in the second half, so that's going to be a, a big point of emphasis next week, because we can't come out flat, especially against Collins, who's, who's coming off a loss, and, and they're going to... Uh, you know, get some of those things fixed, and they're going to be ready for us. So it's going to be a challenge, but uh, we got to put four quarters to get against those guys for sure. All right, thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm here with the man of the game, running back Christian Womack. Womack, tell me what your emotions are right now. Man, it's, it's a different feeling, you know, coming from a season last year and then just adding on to what we got now, and it's just it's mind-blowing. It's hard to speak on it. I mean, a little bit of a shaky first half. Y'all were scoreless. Defense has been playing an amazing game. But you finally showed up in the beginning of the third quarter, fourth quarter, and up, up until two overtimes and eventually winning the game. What does your performance look like? Well, you know, I mean, we came in the game. We know that they had a great defense, a very great defense, you know. We game plan for them. You know, they got a great defense on that side of the ball, you know. So basically we came in. We know that we needed to do. And we just kept thriving and thriving. We knew we were going to get some. I mean, you secure a playoff spot two years in a row. What does that mean not only for the team but for the community? I mean, Doing something that we've never done before is, is just a great feeling. You know, I mean, for the community, we're always going to do something for them. You know, they got our backs, we got theirs. So, I mean, it's a great feeling. Next week, you take on Klein Collins. What does that look like, a, ba a battle between the two first place teams? I mean, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a great battle. And, you know, we just got to. <laughs> and, you know, we just got to keep going on to the next week. You know, this game's over with. You know, we're going to celebrate on it. But next week, we got to know we got to lock in because they're a great team. All right, congratulations, Chris. Thank you. This Thursday, the Cougars travel to Klein Memorial Stadium to take on Klein Collins. Make sure you show out. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Remember, if you are unable to make the game this week, stay tuned to Ashton's personal Twitter, at AshtonJLux, or our student media Twitter, at CougarClawNews. This is all for sports today. Ashton will be back on Friday with more. We would love to give a shout out to our THS representatives in the Lone Star College Leadership High School program, Isabella Alvarez, Aiden Edwards, and Charles Hadzik. The newspaper has a new section that highlights some creative students on campus. Let's meet the editor of the section to learn more. Hey Cooks, this is Sage Klein and I'm 2022-2023 to creativity editor for Creative Corner. 
If you're at the Patriotic Game or you picked up our newest print edition around school, you may have noticed something new called Creative Corner. Um, Creative Corner is a new section of our paper which allows people from around school to submit poems, artwork, creative writing, and basically anything, they el anything else that shows their creative ab ability. <laughs> if you're interested in submitting anything to me, please email me at creativecorner at thsgroupplot.com. Thank you. Hosa is having a blood drive. The requirements are you must be 16 and over 120 pounds. Donors will receive free t-shirts and teachers will get gene passes. Snacks are provided. Sign-ups close today, so if you are interested, do not wait. Don't forget, it's Red Ribbon Week. Yesterday was PJ Day, today was Hippie Day. Tomorrow is Western, Thursday is Celebrity Day, and Friday is Super Heroes, so be sure to dress out. That's all we have for you today, Cougars. We will see you on Friday. And as always, Go, go Cougs!